Hello everyone and welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Today is release day for the game. It is now in version 1.0, 1.0.1 uh, as a matter of fact. And I decided that I would give it a try. I had purchased it months ago actually and just never got the time to play it. And now seemed like a good time since it's release day. It is available now on Xbox Game Pass for PC. So if you have that, you can just play it like that. And if I had known that, maybe I wouldn't have gotten it. But I guess I just supported the development or whatever. So anyway, uh, we have the game here and I am probably going to perish many many times. This is my first try at it. I haven't taken a look at it at all. And we have these options. It hasn't given me any settings options actually. Anyway, uh, we have these options. Open shift, remove shift timer. That's too boring. I think we'll all agree. We, well, you do want to see me die, right? <laughs> anyway, unlimited lives. Well, that would be dying a lot. You work on the clock, time is money. And so that's the hardest difficulty. And then there's limited 30 revives and then no revival, one life. Uh, we can't do those until we reach rank 4, so I guess standard it is. Okay, and we have an intro. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. You mean it wasn't there already? <laughs> In the orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged, the shipbreaker. This is like the opposite of Tin Can, right? We're trying to put the, gate, uh, the, the ship together in tin can. Now we're trying to break it apart. The labor is extremely dangerous before select few. The hazard pay is worth the risk. Yes. I'm curious how it's going to deal with- I've got joysticks uh, connected and all and I hope those don't interfere with anything. Uh, then interfere with the menu. They really haven't given me any sort of settings. <laughs> Update on your application status. Okay, greeting citizen, configuration. Yeah, so not configuration. I'm thinking about configuration. I want to configure the game, but anyway. Congratulations, you have been accepted into Lynx Corporation's pioneering Pave the Way to the Galaxy program. Your selection was based on above average physical and cognitive ability. Yeah, right. Uh, you are assigned to Salvage Station 42, obviously. Designation Morrigan. That's not ominous at all. Uh, demonstrate the ability to build and grow a profitable operation and a number of exciting opportunities await you. Remember, employment in this program is at the sole discretion of Lynx Corporation and can be revoked at any time. Acts of malice or insubordination will not be tolerated. Upon signing this form, you please proceed immediately to the nearest Lynx Corporation shuttle hub for transport and uh, transport to the work site. Finalize the following pages to confirm employment. Enter name. Profanity or anti-corporate slang or jargon is not accepted. I'll just play it straight. Um, selected revival package. Standard. We already picked that in the menu, I suppose. Verify the voice file you submitted in your original application. What the heck? I guess we, all we do is grunt. Actually, each time I click it, it's a different grunt. I can't tell the difference. I mean, of course, there's male, female, male, female. I, I like that that one a lot, but um, I can't actually tell the difference between the two males because the clips keep changing. This that number three seems more dramatic. I think I'll go with number one. Uh, select orientation scheme because if I'm in trouble, I don't need dramatic sounds. Uh, select orientation scheme for your personal mobility unit. Um, I don't know what it means yet, so I'll go standard. Uh, our food processors serve a variety of diet preferences. What is that? Entomotarian. That doesn't sound... Plastic free! D d uh, can we pick more than... We can only pick one. Um... In a pinch, in a pinch, I'm gonna go with plastic free. <laughs> the rest of it, you know, if, if it's it's chicken with plastic or plastic chicken or plastic vegetarian, I don't know how that works. Uh, but I'd rather just stick with plastic free. <laughs> okay, I have no criminal record. I am not a member of or and have never been associated with a workers union. Oh, so there's... This is like that, is it? This is, uh, well, I mean, it's realistic, I suppose. 
Um, I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having McCullough's lung. I hope so. I have no commercial, uh, probably hypertension. I might have hypertension. Uh, I have no commercial or real estate interest on Luna in the asteroid belt or in the nation state of Arizona. As it turns out, if you had said a different state, I might have been in trouble, but... Um, boy, there are a lot of Arizonan streamers. What are they going to do? Anyway, um, I will bring a positive attitude and problem-solving mindset to work every day. Really, I understand and accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to Van der Waals field. Um, I don't, actually, but I will vote for... <laughs> wow, they're really serious, aren't they? Whatever, we can't play the game otherwise. Uh, terms and conditions. Do we have to skip training, or is it alright to just... I feel like I should probably... Oh, I have to hold down. I uh, probably ought to do the training, so... Oh, I'm trying to be dramatic. Well, that's a lot of debris, all right. Each day he steps into the yard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above. Is that supposed to be my kid? Return my daddy to the I guess so. Oh, there's some screen tearing there. There comes a time when he and death meet. Bless the next cutter that takes his seat. Is this the only job people can that can that people can do? I mean, really. Well, at least I have some experience about how to maneuver in space, huh? All these fancy beams, though, I'm not... I'm not used to fancy beams. Okay, alright, alright. Hello, Cutter 9346-52. Your automated Lynx onboarding experience will now begin. Please observe this important message. Space. Boundless promise. Limitless resources. A brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great great grandfather great great grandfather started, we've been at this for this long a remarkable opportunity among the stars have you gotten His to the stars yet eventually brought us the rail gates okay I guess so now spanning all the way oh to no Jupiter, only to Jupiter these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization Earth and Mars the rail gate flowing through them 2267 apparently the rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more <laughs> than just a job. It's an opportunity uh -huh. to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company. All right, all right. Keep laying it on thick, why your don't you? Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard. Heed your superiors. Believe in the Lynx vision. Do this. And you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program. Ever Work. The greatest gift we give our employees. Ever Work. Turning death into an ongoing opportunity <laughs> for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Death is only the beginning. Good luck. So we're basically like the mummy. 
Genetic extraction. I mean, basically, that's EVE Online, right? I mean, with the clones and all. Use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry. Pain levels during extraction. It occurs to me I haven't made ever a, an EVE Online video, As have I? Outlined in section 31 of your employment agreement, the process I haven't of played in a long time. Will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. They couldn't have picked a less painful way of doing this. I mean, anesthesia? Anyone? Extraction analysis and backup complete. Thank you. Beginning spare generation. This seems super traumatic and everything. But I guess the traumatized one dies. I don't know. I don't know how it works. They salvage the people too. <laughs> and they have this, this this is worse than Fallout as far as the happy go lucky sinister thing. I probably yeah yeah I I owe a lot of money probably right. <laughs> it's it's like the opposite of one of those game shows. One billion dollars. Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm, I, I can only look around very slowly right now. Hold on. Escape options. All right. Okay. There you go. Plenty of folks feel a bit woozy with the first pair. Hey, anyway. Welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. This year's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kitten. Alright, let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator Looked up above. Up. That's it. So that's Thumbs up. <laughs> up by the transfer crew. Just in case you ever turn yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. Okay, roll is doing what All I expected right. to do. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. I mean, I can't go up or down right now. And we do have uh, momentum, inertia. Okay. Uh, okay, descend. I would like to change those. I want this as close to uh, Kerbal as possible. I think that'll be fine. I need you to fly to these waypoints. Oh, we are. Okay, we are floating along. We don't seem to have limited thruster capacity anyway. Used to be a cutter myself, you know. Until there were some uh, complications with my last revive. Those are early days. In complications the with a revive. Never mind about that. Oh no. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? I don't need brakes. <laughs> I was born to maneuver in space, but they're gonna make me test the brakes anyway. Alright, testing brakes. Alright. Hmm. Looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're gonna clean this crap up. I'm gonna activate the furnaces. Now. Uh oh. Oh, 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 maybe I don't want to go there. There you go. So these furnaces are used to melt down soft metals. Should go without saying. These things are hot as all get out. So, try not to drift into them by accident. Now you tell me. Okay. <laughs> thumbs up. Let's get I like the thumbs up. That's cute. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This 
this is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go. Oh, move we want to do those? So, when you're holding an object with oh, the ground, you can I nearly smashed myself. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, it'll pull you towards it. Check out your HUD when Such you physics. an object grapple. It shows you the mass of the object and whether you can move it or not. Uh, where does it say whether I can move it or not? Um... Uh, ouch. Caution. Helmet damage detected. Okay, looks like I can damage myself by smashing into them. Good times. And they've changed the music when I did that, too. Well... Salvage scrap. I was supposed to sca salvage that. Pushing it, am I? Oh no, we got. Okay, we got some credits. Thousand one hundred eighty-two. Nano carbon chunks now, shall we? Nano carbon. Already noticed that these are too heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. Okay, scanner is T. This mode of your scanner lets you assess an object structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. All right. Controls give me the go ahead to get you cut. You got quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up your tool selector and choose the cutting tool. The cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. It's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-G surgery, Cutter? Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. Okay, um... That's how you do it. Okay. All right. Let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. Uh, do me a favor. Look on over at one of them there. Yeah, so I can... That one's a lot lighter than this one. Oh, no, I, I don't know why, what the kilogram in... I guess they're about the same, but then... What's the kilograms in the square brackets? Maybe that's the quantity of nanocarbon? I don't know. Look at the processor. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, alright. We're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of those pieces you separated right in there. Huh. We can sort of do a pulse thing with it or something? I don't know. I think it's drifting in. Well, okay, okay, yeah, it did. We're almost done getting this bay in shape. Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over Oh no, there. I want to get the money from this one first. I'm going to be horrible at working on the clock here. Did they expect to get that chunk? Okay. Wow, forty-one thousand. Not bad. Okay. Okay, rotate cut angle. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm gonna turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work there is left. That's cool. This thing will track how much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, oh. let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. The more salvage goals you complete. Okay, V. Yeah, that's still the cutter. 
I wish I had it on my middle mouse button. Hold on, I haven't killed myself yet. <laughs> I need to fly into that thing. Okay, hold on. Alright, we got all that. Enter the hab. Enter hab to rank up. I guess ranking up will let me use my tools faster or something? Uh, yep. Okay, wow, 453,000. I mean, not bad. All right, and shift cert certification review. All right. Oxygen and fuel tanks can be found in ships, but be aware that they are highly explosive. So maybe we have limited fuel. Which, Hello, again, means radar. that my experience yeah. floating Incoming around will help. Whoa, moving around is weird. Okay, it's it's discreet moving around. It's not like I walk. Okay, old timey. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Oh, no, over there. Oh, no. I don't want a window. Receive call. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. That's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, That's what I always call it too. How's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. A sleep tight there, Cutter. Backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Will incur an hourly data storage fee after 10 days. Oh gosh. Rise and How shine, big a Gary. hourly storage Hope fee? Feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay. Let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Gosh. Go on and give it a read. This is my employee oh, death. Okay, finally. Okay, Clear, messages. Mud. Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough. Rank I'll 30 apparently the is the top. Breakers. Most of them are willing to help you out too. All right. Let's start a new shift and pick your first ship to work on. Anyway, hopefully they're all considered red. And I won't incur any additional costs. Enter ship catalog. Um, is that in here? Yes, not. Okay, start shift. This screen shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. Well, mackerel station hopper. All right, value only 2.5 million, uh, 2.4 million. Clear the salvage bay of your existing ship. I guess so. All right. Here we go. It's all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank three. Now try to remember: nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. Using the whole buffalo. Okay, well, we're gonna have to find something to blast, I guess. Okay. Okay. 
I guess just getting those will be a start. Oops, didn't quite get it. Oh, 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 I overheated the cutter. I overheated the cutter. Oops. You know what made me come up here? One day, we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Just verifying Since that what AI I think our cut points are. Probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother Jed. Even had what is he talking about? Black jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing. But all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. Well, I appreciate I him not willing to scrap something one. because of its face. It's to cut some ships are very cute. <laughs> anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. So far, the way maneuvering works in here is very nice. Feeling right at home in Zero-G as usual. Okay, well I've got a lot of the cut points. There's a few more here. Uh, I'm just guessing I have to get all of them, but I don't know for sure. Oh, really hot, really hot. Gotten burned by that before already. Oh, this panel's loose. Okay. Looks like we've got some stuff that we can work with, maybe. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out how to expedite this sort of thing. Is that okay? Alright. Oh, uh, there's another panel over here. Is that good enough? Okay. It sort of avoids actually slamming into the side of things, unless unless it's me. If it's me, it'll slam into me. Okay, let's find where the other panels need to be cut. Well, once I see something floating away... Oh, I think we, uh... Got something floating away, or... I, I think that was the piece we already got. Oh no, this thing is floating away. Okay. And that one is too. Alright. Oh, 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 oh! No! Eek! Ouch! Hold on there, hold on there. You are approaching the outer limits of your work bay. Okay, okay. Work bay outer limit has been passed. Cutter reset protocol imminent. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it's nice that I'm sort of involved in recycling and everything. I guess that's a positive in all this. Indenture servitude and everything. So, yeah, the push is a pulse thing. That's one one thing I'm having trouble with. I think uh, there was another chunk floating free and... No, oh, there it is. Oh, there's a better angle. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get the panels on the opposite side here. These panels aren't the most expensive thing, I suppose, though. 
Okay, those two panels are ready to go. Oops. Well, the key here is getting accustomed to pushing stuff properly. And trusting that I'll end up in the processor. And then it goes. All right. Need to find some more cut points. These panels. Well, let's use the this thing. Well, this structure, I guess, is cuttable. This. Cut level one. Okay. Maybe we can do that. Okay, I guess that's the plan. Oh, I don't want to kill the whole thing, though. Um, maybe we can use the other cutter thing. Ooh. Um... Oh, that piece just went... Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I guess they're still in here though, so... I think I should cut bigger pieces. Wow, yeah, definitely bigger pieces. Okay. Well, now we got a free-floating hunk out here. It looks like I can move it. I hope it's all nanocarbon. Seems like a lot of nanocarbon to me. Only 2,976? Oh, there's more bits. 47,000. Maybe there's another bit. Yeah, 43,000. Okay, alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. If we get rid of this aluminum thing in the middle, it might be better. Oh, I destroyed some structure? Okay, we might as well grapple that first. Um, there's a nanocarbon box there. Maybe we can... get the nanocarbon box separately. Fling. Well, that looks like a hunk of nanocarbon. There's probably little bits of non-nanocarbon things, but... Yep, still learning how to maneuver this stuff properly. Maybe this will work out. Wish they gave her a percentage, like, progress for each ship. I guess that's what's at the top, but then I haven't made much progress, huh? Feels like I've done more. Oh, there, there we got some. Oh, we destroyed glass, but they didn't tell me what to do with glass. <laughs> well, we got some rewards. But we lost a chunk, so we can't get to... I mean, we can't get a perfect score. We can still get to level 5 on this one. Okay, this one has some aluminum and some nanocarbon. I'm gonna go with it being nanocarbon. I think nanocarbon will be worth more. Oh, hold on you.
Uh, oh, we destroyed land. Uh, the Nano Carmen is supposed to go in here. Ah, uh, I guess we have to separate them for it to work out. Shoot. Okay, that's. That seems like a lot of aluminum. And maybe. Maybe a little bit of nanocarbon there. I'm gonna go with this being in the furnace though. Okay. Mostly was okay with that one. Alright, this one is nanocarbon. This is a somewhat relaxing game, though once they have the timer on it, it's probably not going to be. Well, it looks like the center portion is aluminum and the outer structure is nanocarbon, so if we just sort of chop this a little bit, maybe we'll be able to... Let's see... Something like that. As usual, I'm probably overthinking things a little bit. Alright, I'll trust that that's drifting in. Yeah. Well, let's get the stuff that we have free first. This is obviously free. It's a uh, interesting planet down there, but its landforms are not so familiar. Perhaps the sea levels have risen and such, but I mean, after all, it's gonna be 300 years in the future. Normally, you'd be able to recognize everything, but who knows the way we've been going. Valuable object accepted for processing. We are. We got. Goal 2. Okay, this back end I know has more going on here. It's got a thruster cap. Does it all go in the... I mean, probably we need to cut into smaller pieces. Anyway, let's deal with the rest of the stuff first. Is that free or not? This one is. Back end overall is free. Oh, well, it looks like we've got stuff free here. At some point I'll learn to shepherd a whole bunch in the right direction. Trying two at once here. We can rank up, which is our next task. Okay. Wow, 112,000 there. Alright. Oh, 108,000. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, there's that other panel on the opposite side. Then we have this aluminum structure in the middle. And then the thruster block. I don't want the panel of aluminum to go in this one. You over there. Okay, good. Material deposited. Account credit applied. All right, that chunk. We got goal number three. Credits awarded. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Well. We'll destroy a little bit. Let's see if we can grab something now. Mm. 
I think I need to cut the top part there. Okay. Now, can we move stuff along? Okay, yes we can. Okay. Oh, there's two bits. Uh oh. And this is a frame, so it's tough to select sometimes. Okay. Uh. Uh oh. Oh no, not the frame I want. A frame. I want that frame, but it's tough to get it. Ah. Uh. I'll just have to let it go. Okay, uh, maybe we can get it. Okay. Okay, we got those. Yeah, destroying a bell of aluminum is gonna happen. Okay. Can we move this stuff now? Oh, that's the whole thing. But I think I can move the whole thing. Ah, oh, maybe I should have just done that. Uh, is this bit... Okay, that... We don't want caught in there. Oh, shoot. Okay. You come back here. Uh, uh, that little structure titanium is just going to be too much trouble. Um, oh, I've lost my bearings. Okay. Better all be aluminum. Raw material deposited. Okay. We'll have this thruster block here. Let's get rid of some of this other stuff. I don't know what that little bit is. Door is the processor, huh? Lighter pieces are easier to just shoot in there. Okay, now this. Okay, is this whole thing all processor? Please be all processor stuff. Okay. Okay. Valuable object. Goal number four reached. So, can we just toss this in? I wonder. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. 
seems to be all processor. Come back here. Okay, okay, okay. That's not working very well. It's a heavy, heavy piece. Oh, go, go. Alright, we got it. Sticker unlocked. Mini me. Thumbs up. All rewards allocated. Alright, well, let's go to the hab then. I mean, I don't know if we consider this job complete officially. There's probably one little bit hanging out. That titanium bit is definitely floating around somewhere. Look at all this junk out here, anyway. Jeez. Yep. I'm ending my shift. Okay, we destroyed 106,000 and salvaged 2.3 thousand... That's 2.3 million. A little bit of structure. The glass, I, I did destroy that. Now current panel. But mostly all good. And we got rank 3, and we are halfway to rank 4, which unlocks the diffi more difficult levels, so... Interesting. Okay, but at this point, I am going to have to Good morning, cutter end this video. We'll see what they have to say first, though. And sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. High of minus 270 degrees? What units is that in? <laughs> right? What units is that? That's a suspicious unit. Okay, anyway, so before I wake up and we proceed with this next day, I'll wrap it up here and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.